man. All right. Well, first of all, before we get started, guys, I want to welcome everyone to the Body Beatdown with me, Michael. And I hope that you're going to join in on your bike, on your treadmill, your elliptical, your you're working out, you're doing something, jumping rope, doing push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is you're doing, guys. I hope that you join in, and I also hope that you share this and get people in here, and uh, we can get some uh, some action going in here, guys. Kick a little butt. Kick a little bit of that butt. All right, so I'm going to start spinning. This is only going to be about a 30 to 40 minute video. I, I only spin for 30 minutes, but of course we're talking here. So uh, we'll go ahead and get going and uh, see how it goes. All right, join in guys. And we're going to talk about a few things along the way. And... Uh, We'll discuss a few things about this channel, uh, the channel that I, uh, the other channel that I have that I'm uh, that I'm not supporting anymore, and, and just a few different things we'll discuss. So, and I hope that we get all my new people in here. All my newbies. My newbie doobie doos. So, I shared this on Facebook, but I didn't I didn't share the live stream link. I shared my video link. <laughs> uh, my my channel link. So, let me share this with my peeps. Peep, peeps. We are live on. On the body beat down. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Since I don't have any music playing, I would have played some music. Uh, I've got I've got uh, free to play, copyright free music. I could play if I want, but then we can't chit chat because my trainer is loud enough as it is. So I don't want to have any music going or anything. But. Look at me looking at myself, looking at me looking while I'm looking at myself looking. I'm kind of looking. So, we'll wait, a, we'll wait a few minutes to get some people in here. Hopefully, I'll get some people in. And if you chat, hopefully I can... I can't really see the chat too well from this distance. I got two monitors going here. 
I got one with YouTube Live going over there, and then I got my other monitor with uh, OBS Studio going over there, and maybe I can see on my phone if you uh, chat with me. I'm also on Twitter. I joined Twitter over the past week because I was put in Facebook jail for absolutely no reason, so I thought, well, I'm going to create a Twitter account after all these years. I had a Twitter account one time, but I lost my name and all that, and plus I wanted to make a Twitter account under the name The Body Beatdown, so I went ahead and did that, uh, but I'm also on Twitter, posting just a few random things there, and uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Michael Thorne, you'll look me up and you'll see The Body Beatdown uh, profile picture and all that kind of stuff on there, you'll see all that. So, guys, spinning and winning. I did my walk earlier. Typically, um, I get up on a normal work week, my normal work days, you know, I get up, and I'll do my bus route. I'm a school bus driver. I'll do my bus route, and I come home, and I instantly go right back out the door. I can put my stuff on the desk. I go right back out the door, and I do my morning walk. Then, when I get done with that, I come in, and I'll jump on the bike and spin. Used to, uh, I'd get on my bike and go for a bike ride, or I'd do that sometimes in the evenings. Most of the time, I rode in the evenings. But I've retired from everyday cycling just this past uh, July, like the middle of the month. I got tired of dealing with the traffic, and I got tired of dealing with the time restraints, and and just depending on the weather and all this and that. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it up as my daily routine, and I'm going to go to spinning. And occasionally, if I want to go for a bike ride, uh, I'll just load up the bike and go somewhere safe to a park or a trail or something like that and go for a bike ride. And uh, I'll do that. Um, and then once in a while, I might even get my bike out here in my neighborhood and go back and forth a dozen times and get in about four miles. But typically anymore, I just spin. I'm still getting a good workout, and uh, I'm safe in my house. I did have it outside in my carport, which kind of gave me the, you know, some of the elements from the weather, the heat and the humidity and the cold and the wind and, and all that, but since I walk outside every day two times, I thought, well, I'm going to bring the bike in so I can have the comforts of my home. So. That's my story with uh, why I'm spinning anymore, uh, or now, at this point. So, I was on the road, I was a cyclist for five and a half years, uh, from February 16, uh, 2016 till just this past uh, July, so pretty much uh, five and a half years. Um, I do eventually want to get a real spin bike. I see them all day long on Facebook Marketplace. And, but I hate to spend money on anything if it's not what I want. Of course, I want the magnetic resistance. I want belt drive. I want a nice heavy flywheel. And it's hard to find that for sale on Marketplace at a real good budget price. like. 150 or less. I have found a couple, but it's just hard for me to pull the trigger. Because I'm like, well, I could spend that money on something else. Because I still have this. And then something else, you know, another one, another good deal will pop up, and I'm like, ah. Or I'll see 
uh, you know, there's tons of bikes on there, stationary bikes that are maybe belt drive, but they have friction resistance. And I'm like, uh, even though it's super cheap, I don't want to get it. I just don't want to spend the money on something I don't want. Even though you can find them super cheap. But eventually I'm going to get something. I figure 2022 is going to be my year for finally getting a, a stationary bike. Uh, 2021 was all about me getting gym equipment again in my life. Uh, you can actually go back and look at uh, some of my videos on the, the body beatdown. And uh, I shared a, a couple of older videos from this year where I got some equipment. And uh, I have other stories and other stuff, you know, that I can share with you. Uh, I'm trying to get more new content out to this channel instead of just re-uploading videos that I shot from my other channel. Just because I feel like I, you know, I don't, I don't want to cheat my new people. You know? Or this channel. I don't want to cheat it by just uploading a bunch of older stuff. Which, right as I, right as I made this channel, I uploaded a handful of, you know, kind of older videos. Maybe like a couple days old or a week old. Uh, just to kind of get things going and plus uh, the videos where I got a couple uh, some of my equipment I uploaded those but uh, I've been trying to put out more new content for this channel it's uh, it's really difficult to do because uh, I cook all the time I'm walking I'm cycling I'm working out uh, I'm trying to get videos, I have to do my daily bus routes and a little bit of housework and, I, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of pressed for, for time to really put out a lot of content like I want, but eventually I want to start doing like some live streams. I like to do more live stream spin classes and walks and working out and just kind of different things and if I can find some activities outdoors other than walking uh, I'm sure I'm gonna go for a real bike ride and I'll probably share that on here I have tons of that on my other channel and I'll get to that in just a moment I did edit a video and upload it a few days ago, just kind of uh, showing some old lifts that I did, and uh, the thumbnail is the thumbnail is a picture of me from then and uh, a new one of me now. It's kind of an interesting, fun little video, just showing some of my better lifts. Uh, you know, good strong lifts for me. Maybe not for someone else, but uh, it's just kind of a little fun video. You can go watch that. So, uh, let me go ahead and, because this is kind of a long story, uh, let me go ahead and touch on this channel and why I've made this channel. And uh, touching on uh, my other channel. So, in 2016, February 11, 2016, is when I bought this bike. Brand new. And this was my new fitness journey to get me moving and going. And at that time, I also started sort of supporting my already really old YouTube channel, Mikey Center later to become my Sun TV. So, really from about 2016 until just a couple of weeks ago, I've been all about my Sun TV. Now, I've pushed that channel 
for 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. A good five years I've been pushing that channel, trying to promote it on my Facebook, on other groups that'll let you kind of promote and do that kind of stuff. I've tried and tried and uh, I've put out a thousand videos at least in that amount of time. Some of them are family videos and kind of just stuff like that, but mostly all original Mikey Sim content. <laughs> so I pushed that channel and pushed and pushed as much as I felt like I could. I've tried uh, promoting my brand, D I T I, Do It To It. Uh, my Do It To It brand on there. And uh, I've covered every subject in the world on that channel from personal discussions and blogs and uh, up, up to, to working out and cycling, to playing basketball, to cooking, to taste tests, to eating uh, super hot foods, spicy hot foods, to book readings for children, uh, playing darts. <laughs> I've got a couple videos of just me playing darts. Um, video game topics, uh, everything all kinds of stuff on that channel and a lot of people said that that's the downfall of that channel you're not supposed to do that on YouTube that YouTube you should be sticking to one subject and pushing that subject and then things pertaining to that subject like if I'm a cyclist I don't have to just show you me riding my bicycle I can also talk about my bicycle and talk about new parts I'm getting and put on new parts or do this or go here, do that, and do these different things and talk about bicycle, you know, events and, you know, just anything that kind of relates to cycling plus nutrition and stuff like that. So I didn't just do that on Mikey Sun TV. I did all kinds of things on Mikey Sun TV. Art. Drawing, painting, photography, coloring. Uh, I did it all. And it's all in a playlist. You can go you can go look at Mikey Sun TV if you want. M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N TV, all one word. And you can go in there and look at the playlist. You're gonna see there's crap tons of videos and everything that I touched on. So, after years of fighting that, and not really getting anywhere, you know, you have that many videos put out, and that much time and effort put in, and you're only getting 250 some odd subscribers, with maybe a like here, or a comment there, and, and that's it. That, you know, the, the channel's dead. It's not going anywhere. So, business, you got to think business, not just passion, not just hobbies and loves and goals and passions and, and all that. You can't just think that whenever you're, whenever you're doing what you, this, to this extent. You have to think business. And my business is getting a successful channel. Uh, being able to push my brand, my logo, D-I-T-I, do it to it. Get up, get out the brand, do it to it. Uh, that's the whole saying. And we'll talk about that as well, if I can remember. Uh, you got to think business. So I made this channel, The Body Beatdown, focusing only on fitness-related topics. Now that could be spinning, working out, walking, uh, hiking in the woods, climbing a mountain, deep sea diving, deep sea fishing, parasailing, uh, cooking, food related stuff, uh, training, you know, even other people and having people over and do that kind of stuff. I want to do that as well. It can revolve around everything in the world of fitness. 
And that's what this channel is about. So, even though it goes against kind of what I want, I like covering all sorts of topics and subjects and all my loves and passions. It kind of so it kind of goes against that, and I fought it for all those years on Mikey Sim TV. You have to think business, and you have to do what needs to be done. So out of all the things that I'm interested in, I chose fitness because I've always had a passion for fitness. Whether I worked out steadily and hard and heavy and lived a perfect life all these years or not, it doesn't matter. I've had a passion for it my whole life. Even as a kid in the 80s, I was fascinated in bodybuilding and I would, you know, if I seen it on TV, I would stop and watch it and be fascinated. My favorite cartoon and all that of all time is He-Man, Master of the Universe. As you can tell, I got some figures. And in the closet. And I'm getting more. The human body, the muscles, Conan, uh, uh, just, just different, you know, I've always been into fitness. And I started working out in the mid-90s a little bit and then got more serious in the later 90s and in the early 2000s. And it was always start and stop, start and stop. My diet was never in check. I ate whatever I wanted, as much as I wanted, anything at any time of the day or night, like all Americans do. So, 2000, you know, and then I sell stuff and I buy stuff and I start and I stop. And then 2007 comes along and I get all new stuff. All new stuff and I'm starting over and I'm, yeah. And then about 2000, the end of 2010, I stopped. Because of personal life, things happened. Mentally, absolutely gone. So 2010, you know, by 2011, I'm done. Sell everything. We end up moving. Moving back uh, to Tennessee. Uh, we moved out of Tennessee, our home state. And then we ended up moving back to Tennessee a couple of years later. And that's, and I, I tried to pick up disc golf, you know, we throw the disc into the basket. That completely blew my already bad arm out. Then I tried going to the, a gym, really, uh, getting my first gym, gym membership ever in 2015. I got it for a year. And it, I couldn't, I really couldn't work out or do anything like I wanted because of the pain. So, I just, uh, in 2016, I said, well, I'm done. So, I canceled my membership at the gym, and I bought a bike. And I thought, you know what? I can ride a bike. That's that's not involving too much, you know, the bad parts. Uh, so, I can ride a bike. So, cycling was my main fitness from February 2016 until this uh, July of 2021 and that's where we're at today uh, earlier this year I had decided you know even if I can't move a lot of weight even if I can't be the Michael that I used to be I'm gonna do some kind of weight training so I thought well I'll, I'll look on the internet and see if I can find a cheap bench on marketplace or Craigslist and I did uh, I found my uh, pair of body FID bench So I got that and I thought well, okay, I'm gonna get some dumbbells I'm just gonna stick to uh, some dumbbells even if I just get you know two three four sets So by the time I started looking into this My bad arm started not hurting anymore or should I say it subsided the pain subsided to the point to where I thought what the heck you know, whenever I threw this out really bad in the winter of 2015, playing disc golf, uh, it hurt all the way up five years. I mean, it was excruciating pain. I couldn't reach in the refrigerator. I couldn't bend my arm back. I couldn't sit like this. I couldn't reach back here. N I mean, nothing. Extreme pain, like tear-inducing pain. You can feel the scar tissue all in here and it goes down into here and it's just BAM! Just that 
Drop You to, the, to Your Knees campaign. And after five years, it just quit. Now, there's still problems in there. I can definitely still feel it. Uh, but that pain has subsided. And it started going away at the very instant that I looked into maybe trying to get some strength training back in earlier this year. And I was like, if this pain is subsiding and I'm able to work out at all, I'm going full blown. So I started purchasing more stuff and more stuff. And if you go back and look at my video, I show a video of my gym where I'm at today. So I got my high and low pulley system. I got my hack squat machine. I've got a Smith machine. I've got dumbbells from 20, uh, 10, 20, 30, from 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, and then I have an 80 pound set, and then I have a 100 pound set. So I still got some dumbbells to get. I got quite a bit of plates. I still need a lot more plates. And I bought a used, no, I didn't get a used, I didn't buy it. I was given a treadmill. I found a free treadmill on Marketplace. And all I had to do with that was I figured out, I replaced the little GFI switch that's built in it. And it, it kind of works okay. It's good for free for now. So I got it outside. And I just use it if it's raining too hard. I walk in the rain and stuff, but if it's going too hard, then I, I'll get on that. Of course, I got my bike. and uh, But I have plans to get a lot more stuff. I can't go heavy and crazy like I used to years ago. And that's not my goal. My goal is just general fitness, some strength training, some cardiovascular training, drop weight, be healthy inside and out. So uh, I'm on track and I'm doing really well. And as long as nothing crazy happens, I'm not, I'm not stopping ever again. You know when that, that switch finally clicks in your brain, you don't go back. So I'm hoping I'm at that point because I feel good about it. And I've been going strong now for several months this year. And I'm really proud of myself. I never miss, even on my day off that I supposedly give myself every week, I still do something. So. Uh, so that's my story kind of about my other channel and why I'm here with the body beat down to focus on this one subject and where I'm at kind of trying to promote listen it's business and what I'm doing on Facebook you know is part of the business it's PR and I've had to go from relying on my handful of people that I had in my friends list which was only in between 40 and 50 or 60 over the past 12, 13 years <laughs> to branching out and friending everyone of like mind who's looking for the same thing in life. And so that's why I've opened up my Facebook to everyone. Uh, I've opened it up to the public. I've started friending all kind of people out of these uh, fitness groups getting them in my friends list and it's all about friending people uh, getting to know some people inspiring people letting them inspire me and learning as a group but it's also got it, it has to be business I'm trying to think with a business mind so I've had to reach out to these people and get them into my life to help me help you and help them and all of us help each other. Now see when I had Mikey Sun TV, I couldn't do that with ease because it covers so many topics. I would have to join so many groups of all these different topics and try to keep up and promote all these different subjects that I'm doing, different topics. You, you can't do that and that's one reason why covering so much doesn't work. Stick to one thing, 
have a passion for it and a love for it like I do, if you want to make it a, a life, if you want to make it a business, have that passion and that drive, which I do, and go for it. So that's where we're at today, guys. Uh, for all of you that are watching, that you've recently friended me, and I friend, you know, I friended you, and uh, that's where we're at. I want to get to know you. I want you to get to know me. I want us to inspire the world together. And I want the body beat down and D-I-T-I, -I, do it, do it, to be the brand and the logo that Nike is, that Red Bull is, that Monster is, that Reebok is, that Guess Jeans was, that Bugle Boy was, that Wrangler is, that Gucci is, that Beats by Dre, the Apple, the Microsoft. The Xbox, the PlayStation, the Nintendo. The, I want to be the Coca-Cola. You know? I want to be out there. I want to live on. I want to create something for myself while I'm alive. For my kids and my grandkids and my wife. And when I die, I want to live on. I want my positivity to keep pushing the world. Because that's what we need. See, all that stuff that I just mentioned isn't really positivity. It's about marketing and greed. It's, they don't care about you. But the body beatdown does. And like that, 30 minutes is over, guys. The body beatdown cares about you just like he cares about himself and his family. And, and there's nothing wrong with having a goal, guys. And there's nothing wrong with having a business and using your smarts and doing a little PR and uh, kind of getting people in there. And that's what I'm having to do. Woo, my buns. <laughs> oh, golly. Woo, the body beat down's bottom is beat. <sighs> so... I'm running a little late today. Like I mentioned earlier, I, I try to get stuff done early. Uh, as far as my walk and my spin go, my first walk I should say, I always try to get things done in the morning. Boom, boom, boom. Get those done, get my breakfast done, play around on the computer, go take a nap, wake up, play on the computer, do my afternoon route, come home, start supper, work out, get that done, go out later, do a second walk, and sometimes later on, do a second spin. And if I have time throughout the day, do something else. Play a game, make a video, jump on Facebook, what have you, YouTube, all that stuff, and try to support the channels that I'm subscribed to and try to do my own thing. So I'm constantly going, guys, I'm, I'm, and I, I really need you guys to help build this community push it out there and uh it's about positivity and it's about a little guy trying to make it in a big world especially an aging guy, uh, aging guy you know i'm fixing to be 50 november 30th you know it's not easy uh to get your name out there and to take the world by storm at 50 years old so let's face it we're past our prime well, anyways, guys, for those of you that do join in or did join in or that watch later, what have you, I hope I give you a little inspiration, a little bit of backstory and a little bit of, uh, you know, what's going on and the reason and why you see me, you know, popping up on your Facebook and doing all this stuff. It is all for the right reason, uh, for positivity and for inspiration and to grow and for everyone to be inspired to do better in life. That's all it's for, but it's about doing some business and PR and getting me built and all of us being a community here on the body beatdown. And I hope you're going to be a part of it and share me and get me out there. I really want this channel to blow up and uh, I want to see uh, I want to see some good positive changes uh, in 2022. So I'm going to drink me some water. I still have to do my full body workout today. And uh, I'll probably only do one walk and one spin today, maybe. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. 
uh, don't forget guys, inspire someone today, inspire yourself as well. And also, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. And don't forget the most important thing, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And while you're at it, check out my other videos and you'll see uh, where I'm selling my shirts. For the body beat down and get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. It's all for positive causes. I really don't make any money off of it. Uh, it's just to get my brand and my shirts out there and get some positivity in the world. And it's a whole lot better and uh, uh, more positive and awesome than a lot of the stuff I see out there. And I'm going to mention, people go out and buy $30, $40, $50 t-shirts. They have a swoosh on them for Nike. Who cares? They don't mean anything. It's not positivity. There's nothing about it. There's no meaning behind it except for whoosh, we're popular. We're global. Get me out there. I'm positive. I'm awesome. And I'm looking to just, bam, take this world over at 50 years old, guys. With your help, we can do it. So, guys, we'll see you later on The Body Beatdown with me, Michael. Now get out of here and go work out. Go eat right. Go do something. Nah. <laughs>